this is big breaking news. The IMF, the International Monetary Fund, based in Washington, D.C., has issued an emergency warning. And this is big. This is what's coming next. These bank runs, these banks being shut down by the federal government are just the start. This is just the beginning. This right here, this was Monday from the New York Stock Exchange. Dozens of banks were halted their trading because they were crashing, right? They were already crashing before they even opened. And as soon as they opened, they halted dozens of banks from being traded on the stock exchange. This is just the beginning. And the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, is issuing an emergency warning as well. So this is very serious. Our banking system is under attack. Every single key infrastructure point in the United States is under attack. Our supply chain is under attack. Our electric grid is under attack. The internet is under attack. Telecommunications are under attack. And now our banking system is openly under attack. And this is going to get very ugly very soon. And by the way, I got to be really careful talking about all this because Congress people, congressmen and women, not sure exactly who it was, but this guy here, Thomas Massey, he's a rep, and he was saying that other Congress people were saying that they need to censor this information, right? They need to not let this information spread on social media because they could lead to a run on banks. So keeping you informed of what's going on, me just posting this picture here, all right, this could, this could be... Uh, dangerous and it could lead to a run on banks just telling you reality that our banking system is under attack that they want to implement a digital currency that they want to track and trace and monitor every single thing you buy and sell and they want to exclude certain people and certain groups that don't follow the rules out of this system and it'll be very easy with a digital currency so I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't cause a bank run. I do not want a bank run. I think a bank run is a bad idea because it will collapse, collapse the system even more. But we are stuck in between a rock and a hard place right now. There are no good options. So hopefully you've already been listening to me for a few months and you already have some emergency cash, right? You already have some gold silver coins all right you already have coins you already have some of your assets diversified if you have extra money you have it in some of these precious metals that have skyrocketed today bitcoin has gone up like crazy all these things all these alternative value sources are going to go up as the dollar collapses and it's very sad it's a bad scenario overall for the united states because as it collapses domestically, it's going to collapse internationally as well, and we are going to lose our world reserve currency status potentially from this unfolding that's going to happen over the next few years. So let's get into what the IMF is warning. They are giving this emergency warning. They are saying this is an urgent warning for all banks and financial systems, and this is huge because this is what I've been warning about as well. And now the International Monetary Fund is warning of this too. They're saying mounting cyber threats mean financial firms urgently need better safeguards. Regulators and supervisors must act now to strengthen the prudential framework. And it says cyber attacks continue to target the financial sector. What will happen when an attack takes takes down a bank or other critical platform, locking users out of their accounts. This is very serious that this is posted on the International Monetary Fund website, which is based in Washington, D.C., and acts as a Federal Reserve Bank for the world, right? There are countries all over the world that have loans with the IMF, this is a very powerful organization, and the fact that they are warning that a cyber attack will happen, taking down banks and locking users out of their accounts, and the timing of this is perfect, all right? This was posted on March 2nd, but with all of this banking collapse going on, it's almost like, did they know what was coming next? Did they know that 
the reset agenda for our banking system is being implemented. The IMF is a global Federal Reserve Bank, essentially. It's a globalist institution, and they want to implement a digital currency more than anyone. And it's just a major coincidence that the Federal Reserve has implemented central banking digital currency programs in New York and San Francisco in the past three months. All right, it's just a major coincidence. It's not intentional. Everything that's happened in the past three years, it's a major coincidence, don't worry. It says tight financial and technological interconnections within the financial sector can facilitate the quick spread of attacks through the entire system, potentially causing widespread disruptions and loss of confidence. Cybersecurity is a clear, a th- is clear as a threat to financial stability all right so and the key here is locking users out of their accounts locking users out of their accounts that's what comes next and then people will be begging for a solution they're already begging for a solution the federal government has already come out and said they are going to exceed the fdic limit of two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and they're just going to cover everyone's deposit of any amount and it's one of these things this should happen but this is only going to happen if there's a digital currency i've said it before they love a digital currency because they can just manipulate your bank account any way they want with it with inflation they can say okay inflation's so bad inflation's 50 percent now because of this banking crisis that we're just going to increase the money in everyone's bank account by 50% to combat inflation or it'll just go up every month to combat inflation and in return cause even more inflation because it's just more cash injected into the system. This is what we're going to see. We're going to see total banana republic chaos with the U.S. banking system and these cyber attacks are going to be on top of it as well, making things even worse. And check out this article here, all right? They are warning this top... Uh, like ethical hacker group, right? There's these groups that try to get into systems and see what's wrong with them so they can warn companies and warn people, hey, there's a breach here. Hey, there's a access point here. So they are protected, all right? But new version of the Xenomorph Android malware attacks 400 banks customers. So 400 different banks are liable to this Xenomorph Android malware attack that was just released recently. And it has access, it could potentially have access to over 400 different banking apps and all of their customers are liable. 400, right? Just a coincidence that this happens right when all this other banking stuff happens. Just a major coincidence. Don't worry that 400 banks are now subject if you're an Android user and you use mobile banking, their apps are now subject to potential stealing your data, stealing your login credentials to get into your bank account. All right, this is very serious and this is spreading and this is exactly what the IMF is warning of, that banks could be hit all at once and they're saying tight financial and technological interconnections within the financial sector can facilitate a quick spread of attacks through the entire system, right? Right here, 400 banks are subject to this. And just how everyone always has an Android or an iPhone, if these platforms are hacked individually just like this, this could affect millions of people at once, all right? A major British crypto lender suffered a $200 million cyber attack as well right this is a another banking institution that lost 200 million dollars that's a ton that's a massive hit for them and it just goes to show that these attacks are spreading all right the largest chip and semiconductor manufacturer in the world applied materials suffered a massive cyber attack just last month and a lot of their production has been shut down, their chip and semiconductor production. That's what I mean. Our supply chain is being hit. Our banking institutions are being hit. Our electrical grid is being hit all at the same time. And it's lining up to be a very bad scenario here. And I'm actually getting worried 
about these banks because it's it's a contagion spread. It could be bank after bank after bank. It could be every day we wake up, there's a new bank that's collapsing. And that's kind of how it's been the past three to four days, all right? Look at this. Look at this. Dozens of banks taken off the stock exchange. You can't trade because they were crashing, right? They were crashing. And this is huge. This is a major red warning sign to all these banks right here. They could crash. They could be shut down by the Fed very soon as well. So this is, and, and this was Biden's response. So apparently he held a press conference about it and people were trying to ask questions and he just darted to the door. I mean, this is something that people need to know. They need to be reassured with confidence that our banking institutions, I mean, this is the American dollar. This is our whole, this is America Inc. America essentially is a massive corporation. The country is, and to have our dollar at risk is a huge liability. Our military is tied to the dollar. We only can have these trillion dollar military budgets every year because our dollar is the world reserve currency but if people other countries around the world don't have confidence in the dollar because there's not even domestic confidence they could dump the dollar they could go towards the yuan they could go towards the BRICS nations brazil russia india china creating their own world reserve currency as well right now because they know that there's a lot of pressure on the american system to collapse it right now and once these countries do the only reason we're able to print all this money because most of the money it goes into programs overseas and goes into programs that aren't directly affecting the economy all right it's not used to buy everyday goods most of the money that's printed and it's sent overseas to other countries buy things over there and it stays over there in their reserves but if all these countries dumped the U.S. dollar at the same time, we could have trillions of dollars. Most of the dollars are not even here domestically. We could have trillions of dollars rushing back into the system at once, and this could cause a massive hyperinflationary scenario as well if the U.S. does collapse as the world reserve currency and then say bye-bye to these massive budgets overnight. The U.S. budget would be sliced to whatever... 10% of what it is now, massive cuts. And th this is something that could happen overnight. These banks, if you were just out camping all weekend, you didn't have service, you thought everything was fine, you come back Monday, stock market's crashing. Two banks have been shut down by the feds. This stuff happens very quickly. Confidence is lost quickly. Dozens and dozens of people are lining up outside of banks all over the country trying to get their money. If you were camping the past few days, you didn't even hear about this and you are behind the curve now and you are potentially at risk if you have money in these banks, this stuff could happen very quick and we really are not ready for it. All right, so make sure you're stocked up now because once the dollar collapses, it goes down. Just like I said, it's going to lose international power and it's going to affect supply chains. We've exported all of our factories, all of our manufacturing, all of our base production is not in the u.s anymore we've exported all of it and if the supply chains go down all right or if it's much more expensive for the u.s to purchase things because the do dollar's purchasing power has gone down then it's going to be harder for us to import goods through the international supply chains as well and china is salivating right now for all this china wants to be the world reserve they want the yuan to be the world reserve China wants to control the supply chains. Even the DNI, the Director of National Intelligence, put out a major report just last week saying that China is going to weaponize the supply chains very soon. And especially if there's an invasion of Taiwan, China will 100% weaponize the supply chains. So make sure you're getting prepared. Make sure you're getting stocked up on these things now. Make sure you have food stocked up. That's the most important thing. That's what's going to keep you alive. And then try to build up on your other prepper supplies as well. Because things are, I mean, this year has been absolutely insane. This year's felt like it's been six months already. 
and it's been flying by because there's been so many events happening. This is the quickening where it's it's already been set up, right? This was all set up years ago. This was set up decades ago, but especially past few years since 2020, this agenda has been in full force to think about it. The entire economy was shut down. All the businesses were shut down. All the small businesses didn't survive. The only ones that survived were Walmart, Amazon, all these big companies. They doubled and tripled their profits while all the small businesses collapsed and went out of business. And now we're seeing a monetary collapse too. There's been attack after attack on our financial system and on our economy, on our supply chain. And it's all connected and it's to bring America to its knees so they can implement this one world government system with a digital currency for the entire world. They want to bring down everyone. They want to bring down the entire system, monetary system globally so they can implement this digital, global digital currency. That's the main end goal here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're getting prepared. Make sure you hit that like for me. Please hit that sub for me too if you want to get notified for my videos. Hit that bell and hit that all too. Thank you guys so much for watching me. I'm super blessed to have you as an audience and I hope you have a big old blessed day.